Now you've all seen in previous videos where I ran this stove, the Survivor, off of such stuff as twigs that I found around the woods behind my house. You might not have a lot of twigs around your house, so I'm going to, this time, I'm going to run off of these slivers of wood. Now all I did was take this big piece of firewood that you have in your fireplace or stove, use an ordinary hatchet, and I split it down into what would normally be called kindling, okay? And here is the really thin stuff for starting. Here's the stuff for feeding. Now, why is this important? Because normally to cook on a fire that you made outside, you would need three, four, five of these logs. I just split off a third of this log right here into the following kindling and slices, which means if I have a stack of firewood, a cord, a face cord, multiple cords, I can then use that wood very efficiently and easily in the survivor stove for cooking. So I'm going to cook off of this. I couldn't cook, cook off of this, but this time I'm going to cook off of this and this and that's it. So real low fuel usage. That's what you get when you're using a superior technology like a second generation rocket stove. This is the only second generation rocket stove on the market. Everyone else is the first generation. Go look at my details and my photographs and you'll see why this is a second generation stove. Now, to start this up, I got some newspaper which you can or may not use. There's all different ways of starting a fire. I'm going to put in the ends of some of these pieces of wood into here. Get them on top of the newspaper. And then, you see, I believe in better life through chemistry. <laughs> so I'm going to cheat a little bit because I'm on video. I'm going to put just a little dribble of that down into there. So I get a very nice quick fire started. Just pull out one of the pull out one of these, light it, put it in there, and we have quickly started the rocket stove. I mean I just dribbled in a little bit of lighter fluid, guys. Um, if you wanted to start fire three times a day for a year, uh, this one two quart can would probably do it. And it cost, it cost a grand total of like $8 at Walmart. So you can use Better Life through chemistry for starting, or you can split things into twigs, get some fluff and some bark, and put it in there and start it that way. And now, this is what a nice good fire looks like inside the rocket stove. And it's going to get even hotter and faster than this, especially as I close this lid and help keep some of the heat in. A rocket stove is going to take off.